is going on guys my name is Gooby and welcome back to another episode of Terraria where today we will be attempting to take down Skeletron you guys are probably like what Gooby like your, your house like what happened like did did one of the NPCs like do something I mean like hmm, what's different about your house it seems like there are more golden animals there's more statues there's more stuff well I'll have you know I've been working a lot off camera because I've been doing some things that you guys obviously would not want to see and by that I mean I upgraded my house I like built it up a little bit more and I organized all of my chests up and down so now we have organized chests which is pretty good and as you can see the moon has just set and I will be getting some potions we're going to bring iron skin swiftness that's pretty good I'll grab a danger sense regen I probably don't need all of these it's just that you, you don't want to be underpowered so I think we're looking pretty good and as you can see I mined some meteor I got the meteor meteor hammocks I okay so here's my thing I I went into the jungle and I crafted an Amazon. Oh no, sandstorm, this is going to take forever. Well, yeah, I crafted an Amazon because from my experience, the Amazon performs better in this fight. Just in my experience alone. So that's what I believe that the Amazon performs better in this fight than the, was it the code one I had? Yeah. And you guys would say, oh, well, I have a superior one, so that makes it higher damaging. But it still want, does one less damage than the normal one. But my reasoning behind that is it has a higher critical strike chance. So I could, I have a lot higher chance to deal more damage. Which, in my opinion, is better than just flat out having more damage. So, yeah, because critical strikes are, I think, almost double the amount of damage so oh and another thing I did off camera was I built a little arena because I knew we'd need it so uh, buff and let's go okay Skeletron Woo! I don't think this fight's going to be that bad I mean I'm I'm pretty decent at this fight like I don't find myself dying a lot while I do this fight okay he loses, he loses defense when he does the spinning head thing. So, that's one thing. Oh, yeah, this fight's going good already. Let's go. Oh, whoop. Nope, you're not touching me. Ooh, nope, you're not sweeping me. You ain't sweeping me, boy. Oh, jeez, this fight, this fight's literally practically over already. I mean, like, okay, and his hand is, oh, come on. I want to get the hand! Oh, I swear, if he dropped like the Book of Souls or something. Okay, that's one arm down. And that's the other one down. So now we're really in the clear right now. There's nothing really stopping us from killing him. I mean, it's just kind of a race against the clock to daytime. But if you look at the time it is right now, we're not even halfway through the night. So, well. I did a lot of preparation for almost nothing. Like I said, this, um, I don't know why it took all those potions. I could have easily done this fight without them. Okay. Skeletron. Go down, please. The Skeletron has been defeated. Let's go. We did it. That was a that was an extremely simple fight, no problems there. Now let's just hop down here. Let's just go down here because now there's no dungeon guardian in our face. Okay, so what we're looking for down here is a Muramasa. We're looking for that, so I could combine some swords to get the Knight's Edge. I'm looking for a Muramasa, and I'm also looking for a um a Cobalt Shield because. In my opinion, cobalt shields are probably like one of the most important items in this whole entire dungeon. Just being that, yeah, ooh, mechanic. Okay, you can go ahead and move into my new house. Okay, ropes, don't really need the ropes. 
Okay, here's the jungle chest. I can't open that yet because I'm not in hard mode, pretty much. And yeah, okay. I, I want to see how good the Amazon does against the creatures in the dungeon. So, oi! That's annoying. Okay, it, it performs pretty well. I'd say... Yeah, it can take this stuff out. And I'm not even taking that much damage. So... Ah! Dang it, I hate traps. And I'm also looking out right now for rare paintings, because I know... Plot your voodoo doll, that's good. I know that, um... There can be some, like, super rare paintings. So I'm gonna do that. Okay. This is pretty easy right now. For now, anyway. Okay. Break that. Okay, if this thing drops a Nazar. Okay, it didn't. But, okay, so, for me, the Nazar is the most, for the Ankh Shield, it, in hard mode, there's the Ankh Shield, which is probably one of my favorite hard mode items, and with the Ankh Shield, you don't take, you have, bleh, you, I cannot talk right now, you don't take a lot of status effects, like Armor Break, oh my goodness, Armor Break is so annoying, but you don't take a lot of, like, damage, or you don't get affected by those status effects. It, like, if you make it, let's say I get a Bezor from, like, a, a wasp or something, and then I, let's say I just shoot, what am I even, okay, so I get a Bezor, and then I combine it and make the Ankh Shield, that means I c will not get poisoned. Yeah, if I just have the Bezor itself, I won't get poisoned, but the Ang Shield is a, like a combined weapon of all like the no status effect items. So like, there's the armor polish which makes it so you don't get armor break. Which armor break is the most annoying in like the whole game in my opinion. It's so bad and I hate it. And every time I do get it, I get real sad because in my like, why do I keep saying? Okay, so I think that defense is super important in this game. I feel like the more defense you have, the more set up you are to take on bosses, the more set up you are to succeed. That's how I feel. So, if, if I have a lot of defense and I'm like able to not get status effects like that and I don't take knockback from the ankh shield, once I do get it, because trust me, like in once I make it to hard mode, because I know I will make it to hard mode, but once I do, I will definitely farm for the Ankh Shield, because Ankh Shield OP. Okay, there's a dark trap there, I'm just gonna break that now, okay. Okay, this is getting, this is getting intense. No, 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 no. I hate the dungeon, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it, okay. They're practically all dead. Ooh, there's a, uh, there's one of those table things. I forgot what they're called. They're like, is that an alchemy table? No, it's not. It's probably, I think that's the other one. No, don't get cursed. A bone wand. Okay, that's a decent drop. Well, it's kind of useless, but for just one of these enemies to drop something, okay, it's bewitching. And it increases the amount of minions you could have. Which is pretty cool in my opinion. I don't have any minions yet, which is sad. I honestly don't think I'm going to, like... I don't think I'm going to continue. Like... Hmm, I don't know. I think I might just keep going into... I'm... I... Oh. A party. Wow. Why is everything just distracting me from my commentary? This is so annoying. Well, anyway... What was I saying? Okay. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I forgot. Uh, today, I am not in, like, I'm just like, I forgot how to talk. There. I I'm, I'm a little child who doesn't know how to talk. Well, anyway, let's just leave it at Ang Shield OP and Nazar for me. Very difficult to get, so I'm going to try and get it a lot. And I will kill all the enemies that hold it. Like you. I'm sorry, I don't know this, but can you even get the Nazar in free hard mode? I think you can, I don't know. 
Because I got, um, I got a compass from a bat, I'm pretty sure. I think it was from a bat. I don't remember. It was during my off-camera, um, work. Well, if you, if you guys want to, if you guys want me to upload my off-camera footage, there's no commentary for it, but I, I have it anyway. So, handgun, okay, that's okay. Okay, that's okay. Commentary. Well, yeah. So, if you guys want to see that raw footage, then tell me in the comments below. I, th I, it's like an hour long, and it's just me running around building my house, doing stuff, making the arena for Skeletron, stuff like that. So, if you guys want to see that, be sure to leave a like and comment below to see to tell me if you want to, if you want me to upload that. So yeah, I'm just going to keep, keep on keeping on. I like, I love the statues in this game. Okay. Oh my, I forgot. I, okay. Like I've, I've, I don't think I've ever said this before, but I have never like made it to hard mode on a crimson world. And I have never gotten the vampire knife ever in like playing this game. You're probably like, Gooby, like what, what? Like the vampire knives are so good, but I've, ne I've never gotten them. I've never gotten around to, Come on, Dark Caster. Ugh, ugh. Tally counter, okay. But yeah, I've never gotten around to actually getting to hard mode in a Crimson World. Well, that's a lie. I've, I've gotten to hard mode in a Crimson World, but I've never gotten the Vampire Knights there. Okay, that made a lot more sense. Okay, come on, there's school. Lunch at me, lunch at me, bro. Okay, there we go. Dang it, no maze. Ooh, a golden key. Oh no, I'm all, I'm like already full on inventory. No, ugh, no, don't do it. Oh, don't do it. Eh? Get him, look, her skull. Come on. Okay. Doesn't seem like they're in the mood to be dropping. Oh my jeez, so much stuff. I'm going to get the cloth ear picture. Okay, or it's the cursed man, but we all know it's the cloth ear. Well, I mean, spoiler alert, we all know it's the cloth ear. Did I get that key? Yeah, I picked up, oh, I have two keys, okay. I'm gonna go unlock a chest because chests in this game are cool. And Hermes boots are in chests. Oh my goodness. Okay. I straight up think that's a Zelda reference right there. I mean, like, when, like, a bubble poison or it doesn't poison, when a bubble curses you, you can't use, like, your sword. So I think that's a straight up Zelda reference because bubbles are floating heads and these things curse you. So, yup. Zelda references. Oh my goodness, recently I've been seeing people on YouTube, Nintendo sent out a, um, like a shipment of Nintendo Switches. They, they, yeah, they sent out like a ton of them to YouTubers and I've seen people unboxing the Switch and I've just been watching those videos and I've been like, Nintendo, are you kidding me? Like, please just release the system already. And I don't, I don't know if I'm going to get one right away because I did not get a pre-order in when they first opened. But I did, I did, um, I've been checking in with some local stores. And they said that they're having a midnight, like, release thing. So I think I'm going to go to that and hopefully I'll get a Switch because I'm seriously, like... I, I need this game console, guys. Like, I know that sounds like a really nerdy thing. Like, I need this game console. But the Nintendo Switch, it just looks outstanding to me. And I am very excited to get my hands up. And we got a Miramasa, which is really good. So, with that, okay. Oh, I don't need these bombs right about now. I don't need that star. I'll take that. Okay, are you kidding me? Okay. Oh, no. Things everywhere. Get out. No. Okay, these angry bones. 
I think I've been like sticking around too long. That's the only thing I hate about the dungeon. Like you, you unlock all these cool chests and get like cool items and stuff, but you don't like, you don't have a chance to, you don't have a break away from the enemies. It's just like, oh, here's an enemy, here's another enemy. Oh, and we're not gonna let you get to these chests, which in my opinion stinks because I want to get the chest. Okay, go up. Okay. No. Okay, these things are really getting on my nerves. Come on. Ugh! Unlock that. There we go. What's in it? What's in it? And it's a magic missile. Magic missiles are kind of booty. I don't like magic missiles. Okay. Come on, are you kidding me? Angry balls. No one likes you. Okay, who should okay, you can have that and I'll take that. Okay. I have my magic missile now. I honest, I don't really like the magic missile. Okay, the yo-yo is not working out in this dungeon, so I'm going to pull out the Miramasa. I love the Miramasa. Like, this sword is so good. Ta-da! Give me you. That's a cool... Okay, heal up. <laughs> Just strolling through the dungeon, killing some skeletons. I have a lot of items in my hotbar that are just outdated at this point. Like, I have like, I have like the bloody fork or whatever. I don't know what it's called. I forgot. It's the rotted fork. I have that in my hotbar, hot bar, which I honestly think is kind of useless. Because I could just use a trident or something, but I have the fork, so. I mean, like, with the Brain of Cthulhu, you all know how that fight went. I mean, like, you know, the whole, like, switch to the fork ordeal was, or change. It was changed to the fork. I always think it's switched to the fork, but it's not. Nintendo Switch to the fork. I'm sorry, I just made that joke. I'm gonna get so much hate for making that joke now. What have I done? Come on, die, die. Okay. Ta-da. Okay, I already broke that, so. I don't need recall potions. Come on. Ugh. I am so done with this. Dang, dark casters, heal. I'm gonna die soon, and I do not want to die. Not all the way down here. Ta -da. Oh, that's a door. I thought that was just a wall. Okay, I'm up here. I'll just get you out of here. Nope, nope, nope. Open you. Uh, blue moon. That's meh. I'll take it though. See, this is this is my this is my lesson for everyone watching. If you play this game, always take every like item. Like you don't have to take the stuff surrounding the item you find in the dungeon. But you have, I say you always take the item because you could sell it for, at, you can sell it to the merchant and he will give you a good amount of money for an item you can find in a dungeon where no one has been in millions of billions and trillions of years. I don't know if that's true or not, but I don't know if this dungeon's been a, a wall, around that long, but anyway. Oh my, do you see that tiny one? It's like, I'm an angry bound, I'm gonna get you. No, you're not. I'm just sitting in the corner. Showing angry bones. Okay, open that. Okay, cobalt shield, let's go. Shadow key! Okay, here we go. This is where I just have to fight everything off. I gotta fight everything off and just collect that stuff. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna close the door. Okay. Oh my! <laughs> I did not know they could open and close the doors. Okay, everyone has to experience it. Okay, so I'm going to trash platinum. I'm gonna trash gravitation, trash that, trash danger sense. I'm going to trash invisibility because that's kind of useless. Trash lesser healing po- No, are you kidding me? <sighs> Okay, I'm, no, 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 are you kidding me? What do I trash next? I'm going to trash 
that one bone in my inventory. Trash that. Oh no, I'm just gonna pick up bones right here. Ugh. Okay, I need to get rid of these dang casters. Okay, there we go. There we go, there we go. Why is that ball and chain just like chilling there? Like, okay. We're gonna take that, we're gonna take, grab, no, we're not gonna take that. Okay, we got this, we're gonna take that, that, um, that, and that. I'll take that. Hmm, huh, what else should I take? I'll take the gravitation potion. I know I just threw one away, but it's a trade for a trade. Wow. Okay, so I can't mine any of those because there's still stuff in them. Oh jeez, you know what? I'm just gonna I'm gonna take them all on. Oh my! Okay, that was this is pretty sweet. Oh jeez, if that thing curses me. Okay. It didn't it didn't curse me on the fly. Okay. So I am doing I'm doing pretty good right now. Right now I'm lasting a good while. Okay, you know what, I'm not in the mood to fight right now. Okay, so what did we get? We got the stuff we came in here for, so I'm just gonna leave, to be honest. Yep, got rid of all that. Quick stack all this. Okay, so guarding, that's good. I love things that give me increased defense. Let's combine this to make an obsidian shield, and I can get rid of that for that, I think. I'm gonna do that, yeah. And I have the blue moon, which is kind of good, but kind of trash at the same time. I know I just reforged the star fury. I, I reforged it, but, but, what? I didn't know he had, like, an afro. Okay. So, let's reforge this. Legendary would be beast mode. Agile. Nah. Savage. Nah. Dangerous. Nah. Large, no. Forceful, no. Ew. Ew. Okay, this is good. I, with the Miramasa, I like quick. Like, it's gotta be quick. Okay. So, hmm. I think I might do one more thing in this episode. Just like one more little thing. I think. Should I? Huh. Should I take on Queen B? I don't know. Hmm, that's a tough question. Because I feel like I could do it, but I could save it for a later episode. Oh, dang it, I missed the traveling merchant, but whatever. He was probably selling garbage. But yeah, I don't know if I should just save that or if I... Hmm. Oh, I have a lot of statues now. I love, I like I've, I've said this like a thousand times, I love the statues in this game. They just, they just make it feel so awesome. I mean, like, I didn't collect the statues, like, until I realized, like, oh, I could decorate my house with these things, but, okay, that's cool. And then I'll put the alchemy table, huh, I'll put it in there. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Okay. Paintings, I'll put that there. And then I'll put the Blood Moon painting right there. Or right there. Okay. So my house is looking pretty jazzy right now. I'm going to grab some potions. Iron skin. Swiftness. Uh, not regen. I think that's pretty good for now. I have, I still have max healing potions. I don't have knockback. I don't have knockback anymore, which is really good. So, off camera, I, it was when, oh yeah, it was when I was looking for the Hermes boots. Off camera, I, I found another beehive. I found another one. Like, I'm not even kidding. I found another beehive. Ooh, and I need some wood. See, look, this is already a lot faster than normal and it's a hammer so that's pretty good i didn't have a very good hammer before this like i had a wooden one and then i made like a silver one i think which i never really used the silver one i mean i just made it and then i i saw that there were there was meteorite so i made the ham axe the ham axe why is that so weird to say ham axe it's like it's like uh 
it's like a crossover between ham and smack. It's like ham at ham smacks. Okay, that got that got weird instantly. Okay, here we go. Ta -da! Okay, right there. You see that? That's the beehive I found. I am going ugh, to go up here. Now I'm going to break it open. Okay, so there are bees, but they're not very difficult. Okay, there's the larva. Okay, oh no, I didn't mean to throw glow sticks. Okay, that actually kind of worked though. I'm actually happy I did that. Okay, so now I'm going to make a good amount of platforms. And I'm going to take on the queen herself. Take a queen bee. I I have a question though. Does do I have any ammo for my handgun? I don't know if I do or not. I probably don't. That really doesn't matter though. For me anyway. Okay. Get the campfire up in here. I'm gonna put that there. And then I need to block this up. Like, no, I'm not. I probably don't have enough room to fight her, to be honest. Okay. Can I not? Oh, I can't. Oh, I need, like, the honey wand or whatever. You get it for killing her, though. I'm pretty sure. Okay. Oh! Let's see. Oh, no. I can not my butt. And there's a worm. Get out. Come back over here, queen. Wee. Come on, Queen Bee, I dare you, summon your minions, summon them, summon the bees, summon the bees knees. That's a bow she drops, and it's pretty good. I'll, I use, sometimes I use the bees knees. Okay, you know what, do this, do this. Yeah, yeah, good damage, good damage. Okay, now she's coming this way, throw my yo-yo out. Throw it out at her. Okay. This fight's going pretty good so far. I feel like it's Miramasa. It's gonna do work. I just need her to stay stationary. Stay stationary and produce your bees. And I think I'm good. Okay. Okay, that was really good. Let's go. Okay. This fight's going pretty decent. Come on! I got this! Okay, I do that. That, I, it's kind of a sacrifice because I'm hurting myself. You know what? I'm gonna dip myself in the honey, get some regen. Okay, come on, come on, come on. I want, I want, I don't want you to poison me, but I want you to stay stationary. Dang it, I'm poisoned. No! I'm gonna hit Oh, the health is dropping. Her health is dropping. Okay, I wasn't gonna get her there. But I got close. Come on. Okay. I'm, I need to stick to the yo-yo until she goes stationary. Okay, stationary. Okay. Come on. I'm working relatively well. Come on. If I can just do this. Come on. Who's gonna die first? And Queen Bee is dead. Queen Bee trophy, let's go. Yes. And the bee gun, let's go. This is awesome. Finally. Did I get my bee clothing? Doesn't she drop bee clothing? I don't know if I got it or not. Uh, let me check my inventory. No bee clothing. I thought she dropped a piece of bee clothing. Let me check up here. I want that bee clothing, like, really badly. Come on. There's gotta be some bee clothes. I'm sorry if I'm absolutely blind right now. I'm sorry if I just don't see it. But I swear, she always dropped a piece of bee clothing. I'm just gonna it here. No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. Well, that doesn't even matter because we 
We defeated two bosses today. We defeated two of them. And that means that we only have one left to go. And it's your boy. Okay, I can't ding and I can't place it over windows. I'll just put it in your house. So, yeah, we have one boss left to go. We're doing pretty good right now. And if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to join the Goober Squad. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.